don't know. So I think they just call all their friends, and uh, I think in a minute or two it's tough here. Like it's crowded over here. Oh, let me check. Good morning. I am now in the town of Delat in Vietnam. And these are my friends. This is the tribe for the day. Hi, I'm Mario from Switzerland. I'm Ella. Ruski. <laughs> and we are headed to go rent motorbikes. We're going to go check out some waterfalls and just see what the day has in store. But now in the city, we have to go rent bikes. It is a crazy wild morning here. Uh, and there's not a single street light in this entire town. We walked up and down the road looking for the motorbike rental place and it turns out to be called iPhone Coffee. Completely confusing. Alright, that's our girl for the day, huh? So we got our scooters, now we're going to venture off to find some petrol and uh, try to voice not get pulled over by the police today because I got my motorcycle, actually my all my driver's license, pit pocketed back when I was in Argentina. <laughs> Just arrived, Elephant Falls, got off the scooters, driving a quick bite to eat, a couple wrong turns. Yeah, but we're here. The city was the worst part, wasn't it? Yeah, me made it. That's her, huh? Beautiful part, I think, are the dragonflies. If you look up and beyond, I don't know if the camera can capture this right now, you can see lots of dragonflies everywhere. There's hundreds of them. That's beautiful about these falls. Minute walking distance from the entrance of Elephant Waterfalls is this big Happy Buddha entrance. So now we're gonna go check this out. I feel like I just walked in a scene from a never ending story.
definitely wasn't Happy Buddha, but it was definitely worth checking out. It's literally like a three minute walk from the entrance of the parking lot to Elephant Falls. So now we're gonna move on to whatever the next thing endeavor. You guys have any idea what we're gonna do next? There she is. So about 20 minutes away, they have the coffee plantations here. So we did a quick stop. Our bikes are out right out there. You can't really see, I guess, right now. And um, just walking in and just gonna check out the coffee plantations and they have a little guest shop here. There's a lady here making actually skill, silk um, scarves and shawls. She ends up making all of these. Just loads and loads. Loads of them. He's like, I'm so the camera. Hot. You guys all get some love. No? no? Okay, not that one. Okay. <laughs> What's up? Just want to give you some love. How big is the bun? This. And this just opens up to some sheer beauty right here. It's incredible. Check this out. Do I get? Yeah. What do you recommend? Well, I, I, I say get the, the, the weasel shit coffee. Weasel shit coffee? Yeah. Yeah. We, we, weasel shit coffee is. Uh, so why is it called weasel shit coffee? Well, the, the weasels eat the coffee bean and then they shit it out. Oh, they're over and there. And then you grind it up <laughs> and put it in coffee. So uh, you're eating weasel shit. Did you hear that? So apparently there's some weasels. Right I'll be damned. I'll be damned. They're not kidding. They, do they digest this? Uh, they not do not digest it. But they don't. They, yeah, but they just swallow the bean and then after that they poop it down. Okay. And we collect the bean, the poop, and it had one shell outside to protect the heart inside. Does it look this clean when it comes out? Uh, it's like this when it comes out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yum. And yeah. then we have to clean it, yeah, then can... dry. And then take the inside bean and when and after that we rubbed and it's become like that. I think he wants the one with the hairs in it, don't you? No, no, definitely no, no. not. I ordered some coffee but not the weasel shit. Jumping back on these bikes and gonna see what else is next to store on this route back to the town. the bikes and we pull up and ah oh, come on oh no no I gotta drive okay I guess doing the whole thing come on come on so we get off the bikes and we meet all these guys here basically they're playing music they pull us in we're just looking at the view and they hand me the mic to start singing and there was no way I couldn't. So I karaoke mic with this guy. And we're all just having a blast. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Wasn't it fun? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so the key is on travel, even though none of them speak English, is the more fun you have, the more they love you. I keep trying to pass off my shots, and then they keep getting upset with me. But it's impossible. <laughs> We're like, we have to return the bikes. Good news is, is I'm not feeling anything. He's feeling it. But I think you've had three times more than I have. I've, I've had more success. But I don't want to be rude. Right?
but that was good, right? That was incredible. <laughs> that was How are you guys incredible. feeling right now? <laughs> After the day, we decided to just come have dinner here at the Cozy Nook, and it's family style dinner. It was wonderful. I flew my drone at sunset. We're gonna close it out for the day. Just hanging out here at the hostel. I'll show you guys a few photos of it or a few videos, and that'll be the end of the day. Oh, and if you liked what you saw today or if anything resonated you, put it in quotes below if something I said or if there's something, you have a question of where I've been or you want to know how to get there, how much something costs. Let me know. I will write to you, send you whatever information I have and try to make it easier on you. And uh, let me know what I can do better. And if you like it, push the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, push the subscribe button. If you already have subscribed, don't push the button. Peace. <laughs>